If you guys need NBA 2K20 badges to hit up, go plugged on Twitter for the cheapest and fastest badge grinding service in the community. I'll put their link in the description. This is majestic. Question everyone around me because they really left me alone. Lately, I've been by myself. I can't pick up on my phone. You could catch me on the move. Ain't no location when I'm home. Confusing myself with bitches who would never hit my phone. Now I'm really feeling broken. Say you feel me, but you don't. Used to hate taking the train. It took an hour to get home. Bitches set me up for cash. I was real dumb. I didn't know. Now she want to fuck me first. I cannot wait to do a wrong. I cannot wait to do a wrong. So I'm going to put it in my song. Used to go to sleep. Them demons, they just follow where I go. I was trapping in the Uber, shit was safer on the road People cannot tell me shit by doing shit up on my own I was really feeling alone, bitches never hit my phone Soon be up, I chase a bag, I roll up blunt, I stay afloat Fuck these bitches on the road, I trust no bitches on the road I just need a couple dollars, yeah, I did this on my own Why she calling on my phone? What's up guys, it's Solo back with another video. Today, I'm going to show you guys the best dribble move and signature styles in NBA 2K20. My previous signature styles and dribble tutorial videos have done very well, so I figured I'd hit you guys with another one because I have changed up my signature styles since then. And I also have been learning new moves. And this move that I'm going to show you guys today is the best move by far. You know, this year it's kind of hard to dribble. There's not too many different moves you can do. Like in 19, you could get very creative with it. There are so many different options to do with dribbling so if you guys want the best dribble moves and the best moves in the game watch this video but before we get into that make sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe if you're new and let's get into it Alright guys, like I said before, some of my dribble moves have changed since my last signature style video. Also, real quick, I want to point out that this is not my jump shot, but if you guys want me to post a jump shot video, then let me know in the comments. I just put this one on to just cover it up so you guys couldn't see what my actual jump shot was, but... To start it off over here with the dribble moves, dribble style, Kyrie Irving. I've been using this one all year, and it's the best one. So, put on Kyrie Irving, size up packages, Kobe Bryant. Now, if you're going to take one, well, I mean, for this video, for this dribble tutorial, like the dribble move I'm going to show you, the Kobe Bryant size up package is very important. Now, you don't have to use it, but this is the best one for the dribble move that I'm going to show you. And I'm going to talk about that more. I'm going to show you why this is the best one. So, put on the Kobe Bryant because the Kobe Bryant escape, as you guys can see when I move on to the Kobe size of package you'll see him take that step back between the legs thing right there that's that move and that's the killer move that you need but steph curry also has a very good size of package moving along here the moving crossover that i use is normal one it's the quickest one in my opinion and it's just the one that i'm going with that's the one i've been using for a while you can do you can spam crossovers really quick back and forth with the right stick moving behind the backs pro three i talked about this in my other video you could use pro six um, this is a new player actually, so that's why I don't have any of the other behind the backs, but Pro 6 is another behind the back that's very good, um, but Pro 3 is the one that I prefer, it's a little bit quicker. Moving spins, Pro 4, this doesn't really matter, you can use normal one, you can use Pro 4, you could use whatever you want, but Pro 4 is the one that I've been using. And then for the hesitations, Pro 3, this is, this is one of the most important signature styles of the video because pro 3 hesitation is the best one in the game at least in my opinion you know it's kind of personal preference pro 8 is very good some people been using that i use it sometimes but i just prefer pro 3 put it on try it and you'll know what i mean triple threat styles doesn't matter but i just put on normal 3 because i like the way that it looks so i've been playing this game for about a month and a half now and i've been trying different dribble moves out and these are just the ones that i found to work the best so you guys are going to want to put these on and now I'm going to go to the Prime Arena where we can get into the dribble tutorial. Alright, so I'm in the Prime Arena. I preferred practicing dribbling in the Prime Arena because as you guys can see, it is bigger than the My Court. It gives you more room to practice, so that's just why I prefer it. But in order to learn this combo that I've been talking about, you have to learn the basics first. And a lot of you guys probably already know how to do this, this quick behind the back right here. But I'm going to show you guys how to do it if you guys don't know. So basically, you got to do, you got to flick three different things all at once. So first, you hold the right trigger. 
Next up, since the ball is my right hand, the left stick is want you're gonna want to aim it left. So right stick, and then for this combo, you gotta aim the left stick left and the right stick. For the behind the back, you gotta go down and to the left. Now a lot of people mess it up and they only push the right stick straight down. No, that's not that's not what you want to do. You want to put it diagonal, so not straight down, not left. You want to put the right stick down and to the left, and it's gonna look like this. If you do it right, it's easier to do it off of like a step back. Um, if you guys want to practice, do a little hesitation and then do it. But yeah, that's how you do that move. So that behind the back move that I just showed you guys is something that you'll definitely need for this combo. Now, this is something that I personally like to do. And this is flick the right stick up, which will initiate the Kobe um, size up. And it, you could spam it. You could do it as many times as you want, just like that. But all you need to do for this um, tutorial is just flick it up once. So this is this is the the combo I was gonna show. So the ball is in my left hand. Now when I do the Kobe escape, it's gonna put it in my right hand. So just remember that. So if it's in my left hand, I'm gonna want to run right after the Kobe escape. And this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna flick up, run this way, and then go like that. So basically, what you guys want to do is I'm gonna put it back in my left hand for the purpose of this video. Um, but you could do it either way. Um, so you're gonna want to run this way, stop, let go of everything, and then do the behind the back. I know I made it look really quick. Um, but once you get the timing down, you can do it really um, quick like I just did. So you do this, let go of everything on your controller. So you're running, you're running, you're running, let go, and then do the behind the back. And if you get the timing down, you can do it very quick like I do. And it gets you very open in the park. So hold on. Let me just let me just show you. And then after, like, when you run back in the other direction, like this, you do a step back and you just shoot it. That's, that's hella deep. So, oh, wow, it went in. But that's how you get open for three a lot if you guys... Are getting clamped just break this move out and you guys should get open all right guys like i said before i said that i prefer the kobe size up package but if you guys have a size up package that you like better then you can use that because for that combo that i showed you guys you don't need to use the kobe size of package but i just like how it sets it up real nice and you can run in that direction but if you guys have another one you could use whatever you can like you can just run in the direction stop and then do the behind the back i mess it up right there because it's kind of it's harder like without the kobe setup like there you go i did it right there but if you just if you do the kobe it just sets it up so much easier the main reason that i'm uploading this video is not because i have new sigs it's because of that little combo that i just showed you guys that quick behind the back while you're running in a certain direction a lot of people have seen people in the park do that move i'm sure you've played like a park game you've seen someone do it but surprisingly not a lot of people know how to do that move even some of the top players like i was in a party with some of the top guards the other day i'm not trying to name them but they didn't know how to do the move and i had to explain how to do it to them um and i would say like 85 percent of the people watching this video don't know how to do the move also so so yeah this video was just about that combo if you guys want a more advanced dribble tutorial get this video to 75 likes and as soon as this video hits 75 likes i'll start working on an advanced dribble tutorial where i show different moves show more moves but yeah that dribble combo is kind of one of the more simpler combos but it's one of the best in the game in my opinion that quick misdirection really confuses the defender so if this video helped you or if you learned this move from this tutorial please let me know in the comments because i'm kind of interested in that make sure to drop a like on the video subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching Y'all niggas hate on me, hate on me I'm getting money, what the fuck can you say to me? Y'all bitches cry for me, cry for me, cry for me If you my nigga, then you ride for me, ride for me Yeah, you a treat, but you a dog to me, dog to me Baby, you see me, get no love from me, love from me I keep a hoodie, cause it's cold to me, cold to me So when y'all see me, y'all gon' notice me, no